My name is John Trobach. I work at UMass Medical School. My title actually is uh, Manager of Diversity in the Office of Diversity. We manage uh, diversity programs for our employees as well as our students. As a diversity manager, what I do is I manage our um, employee resource groups, which are um, groups uh, that uh, focus on various aspects of diversity. It allows employees to get together around a particular topic or interest, like we have one that's for people who speak multiple languages. And so you can get together around that topic and actually change or have programs that will change the institution. In addition to that, I have an LGBT task force for the health system, so we're changing the medical records so that it more accurately can reflect the LGBT folks and allow them to have a better experience, but also so that we can, we can track things better. Um, and then the student work I do, um, I am an advisor for our LGBT group and, and a couple of others, but I help them with sort of diversity aspects of medicine. My interest in, in, in the school committee stems from my interest in education and my interest in, in how people learn. So um, part of my research is actually around uh, patient education and helping uh, vulnerable populations. So I have two kids in the, in the Worcester Public School. They're both actually in ninth grade now. Um, and they've gone through um, the system. And as we go through the system, we see that as an active parent, as a, as a professional, as someone who knows how the system works, if I go down to his school or administration, I can pretty much make sure things happen that he needs, but I can easily see um, the other kids, their parents have multiple jobs, they're, they're not home when, when the school needs them to be there. And so, you know, my interest is not just to make it really um, a good place for my son and his friends, although that's important, um, I can really see how if we made um, the system better for everyone, how that Worcester will be better. The most pressing needs right now are um, really to build trust back um, with our parents, but with the community. So what happened with um, the Doherty High School Rebuild Project, and, and what happened with comprehensive sex ed, and what's happening with with um, the transportation system really illuminates where the problems are. It's my opinion that when you're redoing a high school, that is the business of the entire district. That's not just the business of, of just that local quadrant. They notified parents at uh, Chandler Magnet that Doherty High School would be recited and, and there's a listing session or whatever they call it, visioning I think is what they used. Um, but they only told the parents that they knew were tracking to Doherty High School. So that's an issue in my opinion. But in addition to that, they did not talk with the folks in the community around Chandler Magnet. They were saying, well, you know, we weren't actually going to close Chandler Magnet because we hadn't decided on it as a site. The issue is, though, uh, if you were looking at that site and you heard from the parent, the whole process is better. If you th are thinking about this site and that site and the other site and you pick one, and then you say, hey, we've picked your site. Do you have any problems with it? That's kind of a problem. That's kind of a problem. And that illuminates where the issue is. And the same was true with comprehensive sex ed. And the same is true with uh, the transportation issue. When your parents don't trust that their voice matters, they get more upset. When if you had a comprehensive, evidence-based um, uh, parent and um, family engagement program and community program too, then the parent becomes a key stakeholder in that child's classroom, in that child's uh, uh, school, and then also in the district. One of the tenets of an of a, of a evidence-based uh, engagement plan is that the parents give you information and you give the parents information. The parents let you know what it is that they value in whatever the situation is, and that information is used as part of the decision-making process to make a decision that's informed by the community. I went to vocational school when I was in high school, and that allowed me to get my undergraduate degree. It allowed me to ultimately be able to work at the medical school, and, and 
um, you know, ultimately affected my career path in a very positive way. What we have now is Worcester Tech, which is fabulous, but it fills up so quickly that it, not all kids have access, especially kids who may have had to miss um, because of their family circumstances, may have had behavioral issues because of family circumstances. There are some in the works, um, and I'm not saying they're not, but let's concentrate on that. Part of that vocational programming needs to focus on the um, uh, innovation and technology industry because that's what our city wants to focus on. And we know there's a fair amount of startups. Let's match them up with a program at our schools so that, you know what, when you get out of high school, you have access to a job. I actually moved up to Worcester over a decade ago. I worked at the medical school in Alabama, and I work at the medical school here. I work at UMass. My graduate degree is art, but it's a teaching degree, so I have an MFA in photography and related media. Um, that's, that's designed to teach. Um, I also have a background, though, in, uh, in the EMT and, and working in, in the medical school. And so my background is sort of both art and education as well as, as, well as science. I have two kids in the Worcester Public Schools. I've seen them go through multiple schools over the years, and I've seen where the gaps are. And where the gaps are is actually one of the places that I think that, that I happen to be very, very good at, which is engagement. So community engagement and, and parent engagement are, are, are really, really important. My personality is, um, you know, whenever, whenever I've heard people talk about me, it's like, you know, whenever you meet John, you know, you don't forget him, and, but you like him. I know all the current school committee members, and I can work with them. I know what motivates them, and I believe we can map that to what's needed in the schools. But I also know all the folks running for school committee, and I actually really like them all. Yes, there will be folks that I disagree with things, and that's okay, that's not a problem but let's make sure that we can work together on things. You know, one of the problems that we have had with the Worcester School Committee is that it's not been seen as a unit. It's not been seen as a representative of our city. You know, one of the things that people forget when they're on the school committee is that when you're elected, you're actually part of the system. You're not, you're not separate from the system, you're part of the system. You represent the system. We have freedom as a school committee to, to lay out what are the success measures. And so I believe one of the core success measures should be parental engagement and community engagement. Because if you have those, then you can pretty much be guaranteed that all the decisions in the system have been affected or at least had some influence by parents and by the community. And that's what everybody's asking for. And so when we talk, talk about you know, the, our schools being a, a magnet for, for people to move to Worcester, we need to think about our image and, and sort of what are we doing. And how you build the image is you work together, but you make sure what you're, you're doing benefits our children first. If you're interested in learning more uh, about me or my campaign, you can go to troba.wordpress.com, T-R-O-B-A-U-G-H dot wordpress dot com. And um, there's more about me there. You can also go to our Facebook page, which is Elect John Troba. Um, but also you can call. So um, the, the, the campaign phone number is 508-640-5857. And yeah, actually texting works really well. So. Um, I think a, a fair amount of the folks in the community know now that I text a fair amount. Um, but also, um, uh, you can email us at electjohntrobaugh at gmail.com.